does biodiversity underpin agriculture? Why is it so important for sustaining our food systems? Over millennia, farmers, herders and fishers have been carefully selecting plant and animal species and applying farming practices to sustain our food systems. But faced with an ever-increasing demand, industrialized agriculture has become the norm. This has led to the modernization and commercialization of these food systems, focusing on economic outputs and profits. Industrial agriculture produces more than enough food to feed the world's current population, but is doing so at the expense of environmental health and social justice. The large-scale intensive production of crops and animals, often reliant on chemical fertilizers and pesticides, has transformed the world's agricultural landscapes above and below ground. In losing their complexity and diversity, agricultural lands have become more vulnerable to pests, disease and a changing climate. But by better managing biodiversity in agriculture, we can ensure social and ecological well-being while still nourishing the world. So let's take a closer look at the ecology of agroecosystems. Ecosystems are dynamic and complex systems where a community of plants and animals interact with their physical and chemical environments. Every such interaction has a unique function and is directly or indirectly dependent on one another. An agroecosystem, then, is a modified ecosystem that manages certain interactions to produce food, fiber, fuel, and other products for human consumption and processing. Agroecosystems are dependent on ecosystem services such as the soil structure, fertility, nutrient cycling, pollination, pest control and water provision. These services make crop growth possible. Safeguarding such ecosystem services may increase the food supply and reduce the dependence on external inputs, all while enhancing the environmental health of surrounding areas. Biodiversity refers to the variation of the genetic, species and ecosystem levels. It underpins the benefits that humans derive from ecosystems. Ecosystems with higher biodiversity tend to provide more goods and services and are more resilient to disturbances. The same is true for agroecosystems. Organisms are adapted to extract energy and nutrients from the ecosystems where they have evolved. Over millions of years, they have developed traits that make them fit to survive in a particular environment. This is why local and indigenous crop varieties make agroecosystems more resilient. These agroecosystems have higher agrobiodiversity and, in turn, greater environmental benefits. In ecosystems, the complexity of their species composition, the energy flows, and net nutrient balance influences and is influenced by other ecosystems. Since agriculture can provide habitats for both cultivated and wild species, well-managed mosaics of agriculture support wider landscape connectivity and biodiversity. The flow of energy and matter in ecosystems is dependent on the food web and the biogeochemical processes, both of which are interconnected. The food web is a network of organisms that feed on one another, while biogeochemical processes are the pathways taken by chemical elements as they move through the ecosystem. Trees and soil are central to the flow of energy and matter in ecosystems. The soil food web is nature's most complex and diverse habitat, and is also one of the most important resources in agriculture. Soil organisms act as the primary agents of nutrient cycling. They regulate the dynamics of soil organic matter, soil carbon sequestration and greenhouse gas emissions. They also modify the physical structure and water regimes of the soil, enhancing plant health and nutrient absorption. 
trees are also important nutrient and water cycle pumps that maintain good soil conditions for plant growth. But if we continue to intensively manage agroecosystems for production, we will face simpler species compositions and disrupted energy and nutrient flows, a combination that often creates a dependence on chemical fertilizers and pesticides. This is why agroecosystems should be managed for complexity, diversity and resilience. And the key to successfully managing these agroecosystems in such a way lies in an understanding of their ecology. Humans have co-evolved with the plant and animal species in particular agroecosystems, gaining precious insights along the way. Traditional knowledge and science can now ally themselves together to bring biodiversity and sustainability back into agriculture. So until next time, let's think about why traditional knowledge has become so scarce in our educational and agricultural systems. How can we begin to reapply it for transformative change? And can we bring back the knowledge we've lost?